some really special guests in the studio right now. Some, a celebrity, should I say, of Made in Kent Radio. We've got Angela from Angela's Swim School. Hi, Sophie. Hello, and her lovely husband, Neil. Hello, Neil. Hi, Sophie. Welcome. How Thank are you feeling you. about being on the radio? Uh, a little bit nervous, but I'm okay. Yeah, you're good, you're good. So, introduce yourself. Why are you here today? Well, um, I'm here with Angela. Um, Angela's my wife, and I work uh, with uh, Angela Swim School. I uh, have been since 2019 um, and uh, we're just you know trying to promote the swim swimming uh, for, for everyone and the swim school as well. Absolutely and, and the reason of why it's really important to learn to swim properly. Now you are an advocate for this Neil of course, yes. you've also got first hand experience isn't that right Angela? Absolutely Sophie, he has, yeah definitely. So what happened Neil? Okay well um, I had swimming lessons uh, as a youngster uh, with the school um, they weren't fantastic. Uh, I've always been quite tall and they would put, put me in the shallow end, uh, which I could stand up most of the time. So I never really learned to swim properly. Made a bit of a splash and that was it. But uh, fast forward um, about 20 years later, uh, I went on holiday with Angela and went out in the sea. The sea was very calm and very clear, but I didn't realise how far I'd gone out of my depth. So I was a little bit scared, got a little bit anxious, and Angela picked up on this. She actually calmed me down and brought, you know, brought me back into shore. But it was a, a scary experience uh, for someone who couldn't swim that well. Yeah, and yeah. you thought you could swim, right? You were really well, sporty. You were. Yeah, I thought you were I'd in be the... all right, you know, like most people going to the water. There's nothing. I mean, there was no current. It was so still and clear. You can imagine if there was a strong current, waves and that sort of thing, I, it could have been, a, you know, a lot more yeah. uh, worse than it was, yeah. And there's a difference, isn't there, Angela, of being, you know, competent in the water, being able to, to move, yeah. to being able to swim properly. Because Neil was, you know, he was in the Kent under-16 singles for tennis. He's a gym fanatic, super tall, so you think really strong, muscly man. Yeah. He'll be fine, but it's not always the case, is it? No, and I think that's part of the issue, really, is that a lot of people who are sporty, a lot of people who are fit and healthy think oh swimming it's easy I can I can do that but then they get in the water and then when they're out of their depth or they get a wave hit them or a current catch them it takes them off guard and very very quickly it turns from a a nice situation into a, a quite a scary situation and that's what happened with Neil he went from being quite calm and and enjoying being in the water to suddenly panicking and realizing actually I could drown here so that's why we try really hard through the lessons to help people learn how to swim properly, help them to understand what swimming properly really means and getting that stroke, getting the technique and making sure they can breathe. Yeah, swim it's smart, vital. swim safe swim and strong. swim yeah. strong. Yeah. It's so important, isn't it? Well, yeah. thank you for sharing that story, Neil. Sometimes yeah, no it's quite hard, isn't it, to be like, I'm vulnerable and, and this happened. Mm. But it's amazing that you can be there to teach people a lesson and help people, um, right, which yeah. is great. We're going to go to a couple of songs and we're going to come back and chat to you guys a little bit more. Wonderful. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you.